speaking about uh, the potential AT&T merger, have you spoken with their entertainment folks about what the priorities would be if indeed this happens and what would those priorities be? I think the, the benefits of, of a Turner and, and more broadly speaking Time Warner connecting with an AT&T is right now premium content companies, companies like us, are racing, we're calling it a race to the center. We're trying to pick up more scale technology, more data, more ability to reach our fans and know who our fans are. And, and AT&T's data, their scale tech platform, I think is gonna enable us to have really significant advertising opportunities uh, that we, it's just gonna supercharge the strategy that Turner's been on. In addition, AT&T's DirecTV subscribers and its tens and tens of millions of mobile customer relationships are gonna provide us new and innovative ways to get our content and products, maybe such as a boomerang and Filmstruck, for example, directly to mobile customers, because I believe the next five to 10 years, the fastest growth in video consumption is gonna be through mobile. So those are gonna really be the priorities. Drive advertising, make it addressable, find out who our fans are, and then reach more and more people over more and more devices. There are major regulatory challenges, however. What role do you think President Trump's disdain for CNN played in the DOJ's review of this deal? I, I really have no idea. I, I can't possibly speculate. It would be inappropriate for me to speculate. Fortunately for me, I'm focused on running Turner, and we've got teams of incredibly capable people who are working really, really diligently and hard to make sure that the deal closes, and we fully expect that it will. And that's we're planning for that day to happen, and we can't wait to get going. Fox News and MSNBC have made gains on CNN, largely driven by Sean Hannity and Rachel Maddow. You know, what can CNN do to buck that trend? And do you think this moderate model, if you will, is sustainable? Well, I think CNN's model is sustainable. If you look across the three networks that you just mentioned, Fox News, MSNBC, and CNN, all their ratings are up. Cable news ratings uh, in 2017 were the highest that they've been in years. And yes, depending on the particular climate uh, and depending on uh, what the particular subject matter is, you know, it might be possible that MSNBC does a little bit better or it might be possible that Fox News does better. But I will tell you that CNN completed its best year in 2017 ever. Record year. It's been a top 10 ad-supported cable network for five quarters in a row, something it hasn't been able to do in 22 years. So the CNN business model has never been stronger. And frankly, I don't think there's ever been a more important time for CNN's place as it relates to journalistic integrity and what it means not only to the country but to the world. I'm incredibly proud of what Jeff Zucker is doing in leadership there and what our journalists are doing every day. And we have no plans on changing uh, trying to be the best journalistic organization in the world.